30, uh, King Sejong proclaimed Hangul as our own language. So uh, every year, October 9th is Hangul Day, so there are lots of writing contests. So that is the picture of a book that King Sejong wrote when, we, when he made Hangul. So the reason why Hangul is so unique is that Hangul is the only language in the world that has information of who made this language, the date of proclamation, why and how is this language made. So as I said, um, King Sejong made this Hangul language because he felt sorry for the situation that most people were illiterate back then. So in in October 9th, 1440, he proclaimed Hangul as our own language, and that is like the unique information for Hangul. And Hangul is not only a national designated legacy, but also a UNESCO designated legacy. And that is the picture of King Sejong. And this is the picture of a Korean famous skater called, named Yuna Kim. And he, she is wearing a shirt that is Hangul is on it. And this is my name in South Korean. So I'm going to tell you how to like, pronounce South Korean a little bit. So this has a sound of G, so you pronounce it with G. And this is E, so together it makes G sound. And this is a sound of M, so together it's Kim. And that's my family name. And this is a sound of J, so G. And this is a sound of E. So together it makes G. And this has a sound of H, so H. And this has a sound of Y, so together it makes H. And this has a sound of N, so this one makes sound of H. So Kim Ji Hyun is my South Korean name, and this is how I write my name in South Korean. And this is like very interesting present for me because this letter is written in South, uh, written in Korean. And interestingly, my friend at EHS gave me this letter. So she, her name is Heather Monifo, and she's not here because she's now in um, California. And she, she used Google Translator to like translate English to Korean, and this is like very precious present for me. <clears throat> so now I'm going to explain some of uh, Korean national holidays. First thing, we have the biggest, two biggest holidays in South Korea every year. And it's called Chuseok, that is Korean Thanksgiving Day. And that is August 15th in lunar calendar. So like way back then in South Korea, we used lunar calendar. And since this is traditional holiday, we still use lunar calendar for this holiday. So August 15th in lunar calendar, so that is September something. So it changes every year. So we celebrate it in September. And this is um, rice cake that we make in Chuseok. And this is called Songpyeon. So in Chuseok, we have full moon in the sky, but the reason why we make our rice cake in half moon shape is because in Korea, a half moon represents um, hope and better future. That is because like full moon will eventually go down, while half moon will eventually go bigger and bigger. So half moon represents hope and better future. So wishing that we make songpyeon that looks like half moon. And this is um, dance, small dance that we do in Chuseok. So this is called Gang Gang Sulle. So um, people hold their hands like all together, and then they start going in circle like that. And then the person outside the circle will sing a song. And when he says Gang Gang Sulle, and then the people who are holding the hands 
will go in a circle and then say kang kang sule and like repeat after the person. So it's called kang kang sule and it is a designated legacy of UNESCO. And every morning in Chuseok, a scattered family all around the Korea will be gathered in one place. Like families are gathered in one place in the morning and we put uh, fresh fruits and harvested crops, like fresh, fresh food, on the table, and then we give deep bow to our ancestor, um, wishing better future and giving them like thankful bow for our life and like for this year. And this whole lot is Korean New Year's Day. So it's January 1st, but since it's lunar calendar, we celebrate this in February. So uh, we give deep bow to adults or our grandparents, and then we wish them Happy New Year, like a new year full of good luck. And then they will give us like good words, like I wish you have Happy New Year, like that. And then they will also give us some money. So, it's like so, Halloween. Yeah, so for like Halloween, you get your candies, but in some lab, we get our money. <laughs> and then we put our money in this pocket and then carry every day. Like, not every day, like in tell lab. And this is called luck pocket because it gets money. <laughs> well, in my case. case. And this is called duck book. So that is what you eat in Seollat, New Year's Day. And that represents like growing one year older. So you, when you eat this, you get one year older. And we use garret duck, it's rice cake and it's really long. And the reason why we use this rice cake is because it represents long life. And we, you, we slice them into pieces and we slice them into like shape of this circle. And the reason is because this circle represents this circle represents coins that means wealth. So while we're eating it, we get one year older and we wish our long life and wealth. So it's kind of like small joke that you do to your friends or family. Like it the this one represents like getting one year older. So when I was young I asked my mom this one. So mom this one dish, if I eat this one dish, that means I grow one year older. So if I like eat 100 dishes, does that mean I get 100 years older? It's kind of like joke that you do to your family and your friends. And this is called yunnori that you do in Seollan. So this is the picture of the kids doing yunnori. And it's kind of like board game. As I said, our Korea has this beautiful island called Jeju Island. And recently, we were designated as one of the new seven wonders of nature. And Jeju Island is placed right here. And these are the pictures of Jeju Island. Thank you. <laughs> and this one is, this orange is called Halabong, and it's kind of like orange, but much delicious and much expensive. <laughs> and this one is called Dol Harabang, and if you translate that to English, that means stone grandfather, because it looks like stone and it's made out of stone. I mean, it looks like grandfather and it's made out of stone. And that is the, that background is the picture of Jeju Island. And this, who can guess what that is? Food. <laughs> is it pork? Yes. yes. <laughs> and this is not just pork. So Jeju Island is very famous for its black pig. Yes. Sorry. I was going to say, I remember what it's called. You called it black pig. Right? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure, but they don't break yeah. <laughs> So. Um, this black pig is just amazingly delicious. So, I recommend that you, of course, you have lots of things to eat when you, went, when you go to Jeju Island. 
but you have to try Halabong and Black Pig if you go to Jeju Island. And these are some pictures of Korean food. This is called bibimbap, and it's like you put rice on the base and put lots of vegetables, and put Korean traditional sauce called gochujang, and it has spicy um, taste, so you have to stir it together. And if you add fried eggs, that makes it perfect. <laughs> So you have to stir it together and then eat it, and it's kind of like simple if you if your vegetables are all ready. And this is like one of my favorite dish. It's called tteokbokki, and how you make this is you have to slice rice cakes into pieces, and you put some vegetables, and you can put some ham if you want, and you put Korean traditional sauce. This one called gochujang, and you have to cook it for like 20 minutes. And it's just really delicious. <laughs> and this one is called bulgogi. This one is the one that I brought today. So I'm going to share with you after the presentation. And this is um, this is famous for famous to um, many foreign people because it doesn't have strong taste. It has sweet and it has like well everyone likes. Well, I do. I do like beef a lot. So <laughs> this is like my favorite food. And who can guess what this is? King. 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 Yes. Kimchi, and we make kimchi stew right here, and it's not like very, it's not complicated. So you can easily make kimchi stew, and we like, we make lots of food from kimchi. And this is another famous stew for in Korea, and this is called doenjangjigae, and this is made of doenjang rice. 